Amsterdam is one of the cities with the best quality of life on the planet. According to the Global Livability Ranking, from the Economist Intelligence Units EIU, which evaluates the urban quality of life, Amsterdam ranked 9th as one of the best cities to live in the world. In 2012, the city was also ranked the second best city to live in by EIU. But why the city was chosen? Amsterdam originated from a fishing village that was formed at the end of the 12th century. It became a port of great importance worldwide during the 17th century, with great development in trade. At that time, it stood out as the most important financial and diamond center on the planet. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the city expanded, with the planning and construction of new neighborhoods and suburbs. The city's canals and its line of defense, which used water to repel enemies and was built between 1880 and 1914, are considered World Heritage by UNESCO. Some of the famous residents of Amsterdam are Anne Frank, Vincent van Gogh and Rembrandt. Amsterdam has a rich cultural life with a wide range of museums, galleries, theaters, and music venues. Some of the most popular cultural attractions in Amsterdam include the Rijksmuseum, with a vast collection of Dutch art and history, Van Gogh Museum, Anne Frank House, the National Opera and Ballet, the Amsterdam Light Festival, which is an annual winter festival where the city is transformed into a stunning open-air light museum with installations and artworks by international artists. The city also has a vibrant nightlife scene with numerous bars, cafes, and restaurants, as well as music venues and nightclubs. It is also known by the Amsterdam Dance Event, which is one of the largest electronic dance music festivals in the world. It offers a rich and diverse cultural life that attracts visitors and residents alike. The education system in Amsterdam is similar to that of the Netherlands as a whole, with a focus on providing high-quality education to all students regardless of their background or abilities. There are several types of schools, including public schools, known as Open Bear Skolen, Special Needs Schools, Private Schools, and International Schools. The vast majority of schools in Amsterdam are publicly funded, which means that they are free to attend for all students. Primary education typically starts at the age of 4 and continues until the age of 12, while secondary education starts at the age of 12 and continues until the age of 18. There are several different types of secondary schools in Amsterdam, including preparatory vocational education, senior general secondary education, and pre-university education. In addition to traditional academic subjects, schools also place a strong emphasis on the arts, music, and sports. Many schools also offer bilingual education, which means that students receive instruction in both Dutch and English. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is very important so we can make new videos for you. The healthcare system in Amsterdam is known for its high quality of care, modern facilities, and use of advanced medical technologies. The Netherlands has a universal healthcare system, which means that everyone living or working in the country is required to have health insurance. The health insurance system is regulated by the government, and there are both public and private insurance options available. Public insurance is mandatory for everyone, while private insurance is available as an additional option for those who want more coverage or prefer a different type of insurance. Patients can choose a healthcare provider, and they can often choose their own doctor or specialist. Amsterdam has an efficient and well-developed transportation system that includes a range of options for getting around the city. The GVB is the main public transportation company, and operates a comprehensive system of buses, trams, and metros that cover the city and surrounding areas. The trains connect Amsterdam to other cities in the Netherlands and neighboring countries. The city is known for being one of the most bike-friendly cities in the world, and cycling is a popular and convenient way to get around the city. Amsterdam is committed to sustainable and renewable energy production. It has set a goal to reduce carbon emissions by 55% by the year 2030 and to become completely carbon neutral by the year 2050. To achieve these goals, the city has implemented various strategies and initiatives for energy production. One of the key initiatives is the Amsterdam Energy Transition Program, which aims to make the city's energy supply more sustainable and to promote the use of renewable energy sources. This program includes measures such as energy-saving measures for buildings, the installation of solar panels, and the use of biomass for heating. Amsterdam has also invested in wind energy, with several wind turbines located in and around the city. 
One of the most notable wind farms is the Westport Wind Farm, which consists of 36 wind turbines and produces enough energy to power 27,000 households. Another innovative energy project is the use of geothermal energy. Amsterdam has a unique geology that allows for the extraction of heat from the ground, which is used to heat buildings and homes. The city has several geothermal energy projects, including one that provides heat to the Amsterdam Zuidas business district. The city is also working towards reducing the amount of energy consumed in transportation. It has implemented policies such as bike-sharing programs, electric vehicle charging stations, and the promotion of public transportation to reduce reliance on cars. Besides Amsterdam that ranked 9th as one of the best cities to live in the world in 2022, we have Vienna, in first place, Copenhagen, capital of Denmark, in second place and Zurich, in Switzerland in third, together with Calgary, in Canada. Check the videos about these cities. If you liked the video, leave your like and don't forget to subscribe. This is very important for the channel.